Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we've got a nice, interesting little project. And essentially, it's using a picture frame and some wool and some dried materials to create a bit of a piece of wall art. So I just got one of these cheap frames from one of the kind of home decor places. There's nothing fancy about it. Um, it does have glass, uh, but let's just see what we've got. So we can take it out. Now you have options with this. We could leave everything in or we can take everything out. It was really the frame that I wanted. So I need to see how it looks without a frame. Yeah, see I don't want that. I just really want this. Um, but I'm a little bit worried about these <laughs> spiky bits. <laughs> yeah. We'll take them out. I'm not going to throw them away because I quite like to reinvent things. So this will be something we do now, but maybe redo uh, something different later. So we can keep them. So essentially we've got this nice frame and uh, it's really quite simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap some wool and string around it to create a framework uh, and then we're going to use that uh, to mount our materials. So the first thing I'm going to use is some string and this is just some garden twine and we're just going to go round now, this is always what happens with me with string. It all goes wrong. But hopefully it doesn't. Now, I don't really want that to end up there. I want any ties to be at the back. So essentially, whenever you make an arrangement, you have to create uh, a bit of a framework or a mechanic for holding your materials. So this structure of string and uh, wool, this is raffia that I'm using here, is gonna create our own structure. So you can really use whatever you've got, whatever you like, whatever would suit your color scheme. And this is maybe a project that you could do with kids as well, which would be really good. Uh, so you can make it as fun, as sophisticated, or as childlike as you prefer. Now this is a, a wool-covered wire, and this is actually from a company in Germany called uh, Leher Wool. And uh, they do a fantastic range of wool products, all sorts of uh, different things, thick, thin, wire covered, you name it, they've got it. And it is really nice stuff to use, uh, interesting material. And uh, yeah, it's good to have. And again, when you take your project to bits at a later date, you can add it in and, you know, bring that back and use it for something else. So don't feel that you're always stuck with Um, you know, you use something and it's wasted. It doesn't have to be wasted. It's literally just going to get used, reused, revamped, turned into something else. Uh, and that's the way to do it. And I'm just keeping an eye on what is actually the back. This I've had <laughs> in my cupboard for a long time. It is, I don't know if it's a string or a cotton or a, I don't know what it is, but I've had it, I've wanted to use it, and now I can actually say I've used it. So this is what we've created, is a really cute little frame. And now what we can do is we can add in our materials. Now, you could literally just add in one or two little pieces um, 
or you could add in lots of different ones. I haven't really made up my mind how I wanted it to look. So I just collected a range of drives to see how it would work. And uh, drives are actually making a real return, which is brilliant. Uh, I do like dried material. And I think in a way they were kind of the big victim of their own success because they were so popular and they were so overdone. And it was the same sort of things that you saw the make, you know, being made with drives that actually you, you kind of, you can't visualize them being used in a different way. But this is the perfect way. Now we could actually put in tubes here and use fresh flowers, but actually the dried I think is quite sweet. So I'm just literally stitching through with that stem. And I've got a few grasses as well. And we're going to do the same thing with this as well. Now if you're like me, you end up with a box with bits in that um, kind of, at some point, you know, you will come back to it and you will use it. Uh, but you kind of always think, oh God, at some point I'm going to end up throwing this out. But if you've got the space and you can keep things, then why not? I find when I go out walking that I end up picking up pieces that I really like. Um, so the other day I actually found some really nice um, cones. Uh, oh no, acorns. And uh, they're really cute. And then when I was looking for my dried materials, I actually came across the very same ones from the same tree from last year when I was out walking. And uh, I obviously had the same idea. So I haven't used them in a year, but they're there and they'll be there for when I want them. So this is the kind of idea that we're going for is just like a little landscape, a little cute frame. Now you can totally style this sort of thing uh, to suit. Uh, some materials are gonna work better than others. Like this is just too big for this piece, but it is interesting. You could glue things on as well. Um, I've got, this material, which I think would be quite interesting. And again, it's a case of how to get it in. We're just gonna weave it in. So we can bring in materials like this as well into the equation. So you could make a design that is quite abstract or you could make it so that it is much more um, like a landscape. The choice is yours really. I quite like this linear effect that this has. Mm. Do you know, I'm not so keen on that being long, so I think we'll take it short. And I think because we've got a couple of these here, I'd like to just get one or two into the back there. Because I think really that's going to give it a little bit more depth. And there we go. We've got a really cute 
fun little project that you can do. Uh, you can use materials that you've got. You can start collecting materials now. You could actually make a set of three or four of these to run along a wall. I think that would look really cute. Or you could, uh, you could just get one big frame and make one big super collage uh, with your materials. But a fun project, it's not going to last forever, but you're going to get the enjoyment out of it and you can ring the changes when you want to change it. So that's today's video. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Do you like dried flowers or do they really, they're not your cup of tea? Well, tell us what you think. Um, we've got new videos every week. We'd love you to join us for our next design. If you haven't already subscribed, then please click here to subscribe. Tap the bell to keep up to date with our notifications of our new videos. And uh, if you've enjoyed today's video and you're looking for a bit more inspiration, have a look in our description of today's video. And we've got a link for one of our other previous videos that you might find fun to watch as well. So until the next time, take care and we'll see you soon.